Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to snap your gum easily. This will be a full tutorial with easy step-by-step -step instructions, so let's get right into the video. If you have a piece of gum and you want to make that snapping sound, that legendary snapping sound, this is the video for you. So I have a piece of gum here. I'm going to start chewing it, okay? I'm just going to chew it for a few moments to get it kind of malleable. And then I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Now, the first way is the more typical way, and I don't recommend it because it's harder to do. So, for the first way, I don't recommend this method, but I'm going to show you, okay? Um, I'll tell you why I don't recommend it. Number one, as I chew this, number one, it's harder to do. And number two, it involves you sucking in air, trying to sort of, you know, suck back the air to forcefully make the gum snap. And when you're dealing with gum and you're dealing with air like that, it's just not a good idea. So I don't recommend this method. You know what? I'm not even going to show you how to do it. I'll just tell you, okay? Because I don't recommend it. I won't even do it. You basically put the gum, you flatten it, you put it between your teeth, and your lip on the top, your teeth, and your lip on the bottom. That creates a membrane. Like this. Okay? And like that. And then you want to sort of suck back. And then that creates a snapping sound. But don't I don't recommend that method. So check this out. I'll do it anyways, okay? Just like this. Like that. Thin it out a bit. I can't even do it. The gum's not even, it's not even rubbery enough yet. So, sorry, it just started raining also. But, I'll try, I'll try one more time. No, can't do it. It's not rubbery enough. But basically, you're going to get a membrane over here, and you're going to sort of stuck back a little bit, and that's going to create a sound like that. Okay? Very simple. There is another method that I do recommend. Way easier. What you want to do is blow a small bubble. So I actually did a separate tutorial on blowing a bubble with bubble gum, but I'll show you how to do it anyways. You want to use your tongue to press the gum outwards like this, okay? And then you want to blow inside of that opening right there, like that. So what you're going to do, get this gum nice and chewy, is blow a bubble that is very, very small. Look at that, like that. Pop it in your mouth, okay? Now I'm gonna demonstrate it again, like I said. I do apologize. <laughs> I thought this video was gonna be about a minute and a half long, but um, the gum chewing is taking longer than I thought. So I would have done it before, but to be honest with you, I didn't think it would take this long. Okay, mini bubble, pop it on your tongue, like this. There you go, there's a snapping sound. One more time. Just like that, okay? The smaller the bubble, the higher pitch and more aggressive the snapping sound will be. Like this. Ah, that was too small. But the other method, I, I feel like I should just demonstrate it, is to thin it out like that. Okay, I'm just gonna, I don't even care what you think. I'm just touching my gum. Listen, deal with it, okay? I don't, don't, don't do the hate comments, just deal with it. You're gonna put it between your teeth and lips on the top of the bottom and like that. There you go. <laughs> Just like that, that's, and it's going to obviously, if your gum is a little bit more rubbery, it's going to sound more snappy like that. So this is what you're doing in your mouth. Well, I should have done this from the beginning. <laughs> like that. And what I'm doing is I'm just going, now, obviously, like I said, not a good idea to do that, number one, because it's harder, but number two, because you're dealing with gum and you don't want to suck back. So what you should do to, to sort of, you know, allow, allow this to be like, uh, as, 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 as the smartest way possible is keep your teeth together. Because when you keep your teeth together, you get just a little air gap right here. And that's more than enough to create the snapping sound that you hear. Okay? Just like that. So that way, the, there's no risk of the gum going back. Because your teeth are together like this. Teeth together like this. Going like this. Just like that. And you end up getting, you end up getting that sound. Now, like I said, um, obviously, um, you know, whenever you're dealing with gum, even if I'm tell, teaching you how to blow a bubble, you got to be careful. It's gum. Right? But... I do recommend, I don't recommend that, that teeth method. Um, it's, it's just harder to learn. I mean, you know, if you're chewing gum, chances are you know how to chew gum properly and how to deal with gum in your mouth properly. But it's, um, it's just essentially harder to do. The easier method, make a small bubble, pop it in your mouth, okay? Like that, but not in the air, okay? 
Now, you know what's funny? When I was preparing for this video, I did it maybe 150 times in a row. <laughs> okay? Now that I'm trying to do it, it's not working. So, two methods. Method number one, membrane over your teeth. Suck back until you hear the popping sound. Keep your teeth together so that the gum doesn't move around in your mouth. Okay? Second method, blow a small bubble. Pop it on your, on your, uh, in your mouth on your tongue. Okay? Just like this. Try one more time. One more time. <laughs> there you go. Now, generally speaking, like I said, when I was practicing for this video, um, I was able to do it nonstop. So as the gum gets more chewy, a little bit easier to do. But yeah, that is how to snap your gum easily. Once again, I do not recommend that membrane method. It's just, it's way harder to do, to learn how to do at least. Um, and it's, it's, it's more work almost for your mouth, right? Um, and if you do do that method, keep your teeth together like this. Just so the gum can't go back. If you keep your teeth together like this, the gum can't go back and you still get that air suction, but the gum can't go back and move around in your mouth and stuff. Okay. Obviously be safe, be smart when you're doing it, but yeah, that's how to snap your gum easily. A full tutorial, step-by-step -step instructions. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.